All right, it is Friday morning. I would brag more about it being Friday, but I have to work Saturday morning. We had this guy in for a health check and exam. This guy, I had something about his face just made it look like, yeah, I'm sexy. Um, <laughs> and out of 18 years of taking pictures of these guys, I don't think I've ever used the word sexy and really dragging in the same sentence. But that's okay. Today is the first. Um, anyway, this guy's come in. I got a rare, rather small fecal sample, which is again why I urge people to bring me some poop when they come. You know, I'm an easy guy to please. <laughs> I'm not asking for jewelry, money. Well, I mean, I am asking for money, but if I'll take poop. So, uh, <laughs> this reminds me of a story I'll tell some other time. Anyway, um, about kids and their first human words. Um, so anyway, uh, our pico so far is negative. Uh, I mean, completely negative, and that in itself just makes me really, really nervous. This guy actually has got a, a nice high stance, or he actually had a higher stance before I started sticking stuff in his butt. That is his little bearded dragon Cheeto that came out of one of those containers right there. Um, kind of had tons of questions. You can see she wrote them down. Um, <laughs> just like some good news. <laughs> um, I do have a general rule when it comes to supplements. The, uh, the medication you're seeing right there, the flukers, uh, not that I'm actually recommending any brand at this point in time, but preloading crickets and preloading some of the food is actually a very, very good idea. And that is one of the products that does that. Um, then of course you got your reptile, your reptivite, and uh, and of course the, uh, the the lizard Cheetos right there in the other flukers container. Um, I don't know. I know they're not Cheetos, but at the same time they look like Cheetos. Mom even says they crunch like Cheetos. <laughs> anyway, as a general rule, if they are getting a well balanced diet, then we don't need the vitamins. Okay, um, but since she has bought them. And, uh, and she is fixing and mixing this guy like a mixed salad. If you were to put the Reptical and your Reptivite and those things into a small salt shaker, you could actually give them a few sprinkles and it probably wouldn't hurt anything. Um, so anyway, so she can use those things. As far as the, uh, the Lizard Cheetos, I have no idea whatsoever of their nutritional capabilities, but the Lizard likes them and obviously he looks pretty healthy. Um, so I have uh, given this guy a dose of dewormer today. Just in case I had missed something on the fecal, I'm following you. I'm not letting you behind me anymore. The last time, <laughs> he's going to go home and get the rape kit out. Um, <laughs> anyway, he stuck something in my butt. You going to follow me over here? <laughs> anyway, for all intents and purposes, this guy actually is perfectly healthy. Uh, she was asking about the gaping of the mouth behavior. That can be from overheating. It can actually be from stretching his jaws because he's getting hungry. It's kind of an exercise that a lot of reptiles do. Uh, and in the meantime, I have been with this guy now for a good, good half an hour, and I've not seen any sign of respiratory tract disease, problems, or sneezes. And his nares are good, and his blood also looks clean as well. All right, so for all intents and purposes, this guy gets a clean bill of health. I'm just nervous about having a negative pickle because it just doesn't happen. Um, all right. That is it for now. Would you like to wave goodbye? <laughs> no, but I'll give you that sideways glance like, get away. Once again, I'm reminded just how important a good fecal exam for a patient. The first one we did while this animal was in a room uh, was completely negative, nothing going on. I guess that made me nervous and even said so. Uh, as you can tell, we actually went outside, hoping this guy would actually pee and poop in the grass. Didn't do it. Um, so, I actually went ahead and sent him home, told the client to bring me back the next fecal sample they had. Within two or three hours, she delivered another fecal sample, and in that fecal sample, we saw a protozoa, vibrio, but no worms. Anyway, the good news is the prophylactic uh, dewormer that I'd given should cover that process, and she's going to come back next week to recheck the fecal and also re retreat if we need to. Anyway, a good fecal exam and good data from all these species and all these patients can never, ever be underestimated. All right, that's it for now. Lesson one, poop is good. Poop is good. Poop.